Guns are now the most common cause of death in children, surpassing car accidents. As 10 on Your Side tracks efforts to take back the community, tonight we are hearing what pediatricians are doing to raise awareness of this important public health crisis. Our Stephanie Hudson is here with ways parents can do so starting in their own home. Stephanie? Tom, pediatricians are calling gun deaths among children an epidemic. How bad is it? Well, let's start with something that might put it into perspective. If you count all the students in every Norfolk Public High School, it would not add up to the number of young people killed by guns in 2020. Nearly 10,200, according to the latest data. Seeing what a bullet can do to the body of a child is just devastating. Dr. Lauren Morea is the gun violence prevention champion for the Virginia chapter of the American Academy of Pediatrics. I've dedicated my life to keeping children healthy and safe. That's all I want to do. When it comes to protecting kids from guns, she offers parents three things they can do right now to help take back the community. Priority number one, lock them up. We recommend that weapons be um, stored unloaded and locked with the ammunition stored separately. Number two, talk about guns with the people whose homes your children visit. And it doesn't have to be... Um, confrontational or uncomfortable. You know, what I always say is, if you have a gun in your home, how is it stored? Just like you talk about car safety seats, food allergies, water safety, and screen time, make the gun question part of the conversation, and not just for the little ones. Teenagers are, are at the highest risk. Um, some of that is because of community gun violence. It's also because parents often trust that teens will know better than to handle a gun and don't secure them properly. Having a gun in the home is also a greater risk factor for suicide than a mental illness diagnosis. And we know that suicide is impulsive, and so there, there aren't always signs. Finally, Dr. Morea says, be an advocate. The AAP is urging lawmakers to enact universal background checks, red flag laws, and to provide $60 million to fund gun violence prevention research. For more tips from pediatricians on taking back the community from gun violence, go to this story on wavy.com. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.